Okay, just coming into Mill Creek Springs, you guys. Off to the left here is probably where it's going to be at. Probably one of those units right there along the back here. Okay. And as you can see, this is kind of what Mill Creek Springs looks like back up in here. Over here, there's a little playground slide thingy. Okay, well, let's go over there and take a quick look at the little park area. Um, it's got some swings and slides and that kind of thing. No grass in the kit. Okay, got some units up there being built. Got some units down in here. Okay. And then, of course, your unit's going to be right in there. Uh, come in here. Notice a nice, nice house is being built up in there. Okay. No Creek Springs. And here we come into your unit right there. Right uh, there. Not this cell pending one, but the one next to it, the 166, right there. Okay. Here's the more cars parked out here. And you're just walking right down the street to the pool. Okay. So the pool's right there. Well, It says five feet on the right there, four feet right there, and I can't see what that says. Almost said, almost looked like it said zero, but I don't doubt that. Maybe it is zero feet. Anyways, that's a little bit of the development in the pool. Kind of pretty basic. Bit better view of it. It's all fenced off. Okay. And your unit's going to be straight ahead to the right a little bit. It's a one car garage. Just pulling into it right here. Pulling into my one car garage. Alright guys. Okay, here's your unit. Everything looks pretty pretty good. Nice tile. Got tile. These blinds are okay down here. Okay, everything looks nice. It's a nice uh, closet area space. Did you get to see it? Here's uh, some storage underneath the uh, stairs, which is really good to have. Okay. Half bathroom down here with the main living area. And this is the carpet remnant I would think that you could just replace, okay? That's what I would do. And your, your ceiling fan needs to be cleaned off. Looks like it's dust on it. Everything else, the walls are, you know, decent shape. They got a few nails sticking out from paintings that were left. But as you can tell, very nice. So, so far, I don't see anything that just needs to be pushed back up in that light. And the bulb probably replaced. Uh, there your conditioning's on. Uh, that, those blinds seem to be in okay shape. These are probably an okay shape. Let's see. Yeah, those are probably an okay shape. Missing one. Missing one. Who knows? Maybe you could take it off this one. Anyways. But I wanted to show you one blemish that I don't know what in the heck is from. 
but I've concluded that it has nothing to do with the functioning or reliability of the door. And that is somebody got back there and picked away at the, uh, the foam that sticks to the, the bar and the window. And someone got in there and pried, but they didn't evidently pry hard enough to break glass. That's why I tried, tried to figure out what in the heck was somebody trying to do. Because why would you try to do it from the inside where all you have to do is just lift up the lock to unlock the puppy. And it slides nice. Everything's functional about it. I think that you could disregard because you really can't see that anything's just, that's wrong with it. Okay. To fix that, someone ha would have to ultimately cut away the glass from the bar. Well, these are welded together, so I don't think you can fix that. That's just, it would be forever left there as part of your rental. And then when you did go to fix it, they would undo the bar, the plastic, take all the plastic off. They would bend that back, and you'd put a new strip on there, or you would get a whole new door. Okay. Anyway, so that's kind of minor. I wouldn't. I would think that you wouldn't even have to worry about that. Someone could just, you know, put some caulk in there or something. Okay. All right. That opens nice and easy. Screen door is very functional. And here's the outside and the back, you guys. Not much to your backyard space. All right. Just looking off, basically. Have a little patio area. Okay. Okay, but it's got uh, underneath lighting, underneath the cabinets, which is kind of cool. Um, good lighting here. And then, of course, it has a garage, which most of these have just carports. So there's built-in value right here. And now I'll be showing you upstairs. Okay, here we go with the upstairs. Proper shampooing would take care of anything um, upstairs, I believe. Now, this is just bedroom. And that bedroom railing looks kind of like a new unit. Now the grill could use some dusting, that's for sure. Um, but in the master bedroom, the window looks like looks like a nice clean unit. Down there, I don't know if they, you just have to match the paint, you know, just get a fleck of paint off there and it need to do there. Okay, it's Brian bringing you the house. I don't see anything wrong with it. Looks uh, in good shape. A lot of a lot of bedrooms and square footage for the money. Um, pretty much newish, you know, brand new, newish kind of like feeling.